Who will be picked first? No one knows. No one knows. All that excitement now. All right, we're going to begin with determining who goes first. So we're going to generate a number between 1 and 100. Who's ever closest will pick first. The number is 49. Woohoo! Guess who wins? Keith guessed 52, so he's going first. Keith, I thought you didn't want to go first. I thought I get to pick now. Oh, wait. I... You, you don't. Do get you go first. first. No, I thought the winner gets to pick if they go first or if they give it over. Because I don't no. want to. The person who gets closest goes first. If I had known that it was going to be one okay. or loses, I would have guessed two. If, <laughs> if Tundar agrees to a redraw, then it's up to him, though. Well, you would have guessed two. Would I have still won there? Maybe, because you did 99 point whatever with your weird stuff. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so, so because I won, I get first pick? I thought that's what the rule was, but I so was the rule. That's correct. It was whoever is closest to the number generated goes first. All right. Well, well this is a really hard pick. I don't know if I'm going to be picking um, hardware first or someone else, honestly. <laughs> i got to figure this out. Let me look at my list. All right. So that means <laughs> Keith is team one, then. Correct. Keith is team one. And we can pull Thunder and make him team two. Okay, you're on the clock, Keith. All right, first pick is obviously going to have to be Nisi. All right, Thunder, pick two. Uh, Carbine and spin, please. I am going to do Loot Hill and... I am going as fast as I can go. <laughs> Sorry, okay, Loot Hill and I'm going to do... Okay. Babo. All right, Thunder. Um, I'm going to go with Spyro and Marcus. I'm going to do George Skanderberg. And then I'm going to do Sponge. And to finish off, I'm going to take uh, Bianca and Mammy. You bastard. Those were my next. All right, I'm going to take Phoenix, and I'm going to take Spider Pig. All right, Tundra, last two. Right. Um, let's see. I will go with... Joe, you know I'll take re Resurrection and Hardware. Let's pick Keith. Jimmy and... All right, so Jimmy's the last pick, and then we can, Keith, you can pick your first alternate. It'll be Fist and Ho. And I'll take Pharaoh. Uh, Thunder pick again. Uh, Pharaoh? Yep, I got your Pharaoh, and then your second alternate pick. Oh, give me that one that I can't say his name. Gand. Twilagan. Yeah, that one. All right, Keith, you get Ark. There you go. Those are the teams. Well, I got all but two of the desired players, so I'm happy with that. How many did you get? Um, five. That's well, pretty good. Yeah, I, I figured I, I figured I'd get Nisi if I went first, so he was my first pick. Then I, I wanted Babo. Um, yeah, me I wanted, too. I wanted Loot Hill. I wanted, Me too. Uh, I wanted Arbum. <laughs> so my top picks. Oh, go on, carry on. Oh, and then uh, Sponge. Sponge was my. Well, Bianca was my other one, but I, you you stole her from me. 
I was worried at that point. I thought you were going to take her when when it was the handover, but you let me ever. So I was going for yeah, mummy, carb spin, Spyro loot. I was hoping to grab as well, Marcus and Bianca, and unfortunately Babo didn't didn't make it to my team. But that would have been my best hopefuls. But yeah, now we've got to assign everybody and see what everyone wants to play. That's right. The next step is choosing the maps everybody's going to play at. All right, so I'm thinking the way we could handle this is if you guys want me to make, uh, like, I, if you want to do it or if you want me to do it, to make a group where yeah. everyone on the team can be in the same chat. We so, did. yeah, I could do that right here on the server. I think pretty much everyone is in the server. So I can set up, like, a, a secret room for the two teams. That'd be perfect. And then whoever's not in here would be good. All right, so that is going to take me more than a minute. So I'm. I'll do that after this call. And then um, you guys have a few days, uh, up to a week if you need it. But I doubt we're going to need a whole week uh, to figure out. To, and then you guys, what needs to happen is you need to assign everyone to the maps that they're going to be playing. And then rank choice the maps th that you want to host, just one through four. Um, and then Yurgisil is not part of that. Yurgisil has a neutral host. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so I think it would be a great idea to discuss with your team. That's why I want to get everyone in a group chat together. So then you guys can uh, like really figure out and strategize what how you want to approach this. For sure. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of the stream. It was a very quick stream. Yeah, you guys had your picks locked and loaded. That went so quick. <laughs> All right, well, I will make the chats now, and then uh, you guys can discuss. Cool. Well, cheers, guys. Um, cheers. Absolutely. All right, well done, both of you. Do we get to formulate a name for our team? Sure. Can we just... Team losers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Lovin', Lovin' Jay's got some questions, guys. Take it away. So Keith, you obviously came in with the pick on Tanisi, which was a pick that I don't think anyone was surprised by. Um, was there ever a moment in your mind where you considered not picking the obvious choice in Nisi? Yes. I was thinking about doing Spinifix, to be honest, first. I was thinking about picking Spin, because I know I know he's Tunder's top choice. Um, so I was thinking about taking Spin, but I knew I'd lose Nisi at that point, so I, uh, I had to double down on my pick. But Spinifix was my, my number two slash one okay so tundar you obviously answered the nisi pick with a carbine and spinifix pick was it because you thought they were best placed to fight nisi yeah they were my two carriers that i wanted yeah they're both strong players so is was there something about their play styles in particular like well let's be honest if we're going up against nisi in any 2v2 environment i'm going to need to have two big guns and spinifix is the one that can put enough pressure on nisi there for an ally to finish the game off and actually get, pull off the wins. So I felt, I felt with those two, I've got options. I've got two carriers, or I've got a really strong PP game. So you're not putting Nisi on Cess? <laughs> Damn, okay, I, got, I feel like I've made a mistake. You can put it where you like, mate. <laughs> so actually, this moves me on nicely to the next question. Um, obviously, you can't spoil anything now, and you've only just found out. You've got to talk with your teams, but is there any sort of plans? Are there any maps? Are you going to be trying to pull out anything sneaky? Will you be playing it standard, like, or are you going to put Nisi on Cess? I'd like to do a gentleman's agreement with Tunder on Cess to where we we agree to put our 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 worst players on there. Um, but unfortunately, uh, that would kind of ruin the surprise of the tournament. So I guess I don't. It would be cool to put the worst players on Sass, but... Well, I was going to secure as many wins as possible. I felt that everyone should have a good opportunity to try and win some prize money there. So um, I was very keen to get Marcus and Bianca to team up on Sass, as I felt that would be the strongest team there. Uh, I felt like every map is worth giving a good shot on. How, how generous of you to stick Bianca on Sass, her favorite level, her absolute favorite level. <laughs> anything can change right i mean i have to have a word with everybody and make sure they're happy 
but that, that was my original thinking. So, Keith, you obviously picked uh, Sponge while strong players like uh, Bianca and Mamut were still open. Um, what was it about Sponge or his playstyle that really drove you towards him first, as he might have been considered maybe a slightly less obvious pick? Um, Sponge is a... I, I have a specific level in mind for Sponge, and um, when I thought about who could handle themselves on um, such a level, I, Med was definitely at the top of my thought process. Okay, Keith, and I've got to ask this because I know he's watching and uh, he's listening in. Um, are you worried that this is a 1.3 tournament and you've picked Baba, who is now primarily a beta player? Yes, I was very nervous. Um, I have... Uh... I have no doubt in my mind that Babo can deliver if he uh, practices a little bit, but uh, Babo's performance on 1.03 is shaky. So uh, I was tempted to throw him over to Tunder's team, but Babo and I have got history, and I, I, I know he can deliver on the level I'm going to put him on. Okay, so that's it for me from questions. Uh, Keith, do you have any closing comments? Like, how do you feel the draft went for you? Did it go your way? When I picked Spider Pig and um, I think someone else, I forgot that Resurrection and Hardware were there. When he claimed those two, that was kind of a blow to me. I was like, ooh, shoot, those were good picks. I probably should have taken them, but I did not. Um, and so I think that I think that kind of shocked me. I forgot that those two were still on the board, but um, I'm very confident in my team. I think, uh, I think with the help of an instant win with Nisi, um, I think this. <laughs> <laughs> so Tanda, over to you same question how do you think the draft went and are you happy with your team well as a team captain you know my my mission here is to give everyone in my team an opportunity to win points to enjoy the tournament and i think we've done a fantastic job here of bringing together a team that can deliver so i'm expecting our team to pull out four maybe five wins i'm not expecting the nissi card to produce a win for keith um We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It depends where he's placed. Um, I'm not willing to back down on any of our maps. So I'm very confident in our team, and I'm very much looking forward to building the relationship that, that our team has got and strengthening that. This is some PR manufactured shit over here. <laughs> I like it. Impressive under. I liked it. I'd like to uh, redo my closing statement after Tinder's there. <laughs> <laughs> go on then, Keith. We'll give you a mulligan. One more go. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank everyone who's given me the opportunity to help become who I am with this captain of this team. I want to thank, um, want to thank all the people on this team here. Ah, I'm done. I'm done. That's fine. I'll stick with my original. I retract my request. Well, in that case, uh, I have no further questions. Well, thank you very much. The giving tournament is underway. It is. I think we'll leave it at that. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for those excellent questions, Lavenji. Uh, and good luck to the teams. Yeah, good luck, everybody. We'll catch you. Good luck.